For the first time since 2006, Haiti has updated data on the situation of children and women, enabling analysis of the earthquake response and helping establish where and who the most vulnerable children are. The preliminary results of this survey means good news for the situation of children in Haiti, particularly in the areas of education and nutrition. One of the most positive findings in the area of education was that 77% of children aged 6 to 11 attended primary school in 2012, compared to just under 50% in 2005-2006. This includes an increase in school attendance among girls in Haiti. It's a survey that enables us to determine the level of health and demographical indicators, allowing us to see the evolution of these indicators over time. The survey also allows an overview of the earthquake-affected population, especially the over 300,000 still displaced and living in camps who remain among the most vulnerable population in the country, like 29-year-old Vanessa, who lost almost everything in the earthquake and came to live in this camp called Aviation with her two children. When I came to the center, my son was eight months old. He was sick and wasting away. He had no weight on him at all. She came to this healthcare center run by UNICEF's partner on the ground, Fondef, that was created to serve the enormous amount of people fleeing from their destroyed homes seeking shelter. With the situation after the earthquake and the economic situation of the parents, the number of malnourished children increased considerably. Vanessa remembers Samuel being a vibrant and healthy baby for the first few months of his life. He was not that skinny at first. It's during the period after the earthquake he started losing weight. Samuel and many others were diagnosed as being acutely malnourished and placed on a closely monitored treatment program which includes a regimen of vitamin-enriched foods like Plumpy Nut. The nutrition consultation and the treatment program are supported by UNICEF. They provide the materials, medicine, and support to do the work on the ground. Preliminary results of the latest survey indicate that acute malnutrition in children under five years old has decreased by half from 10% to 5%. Chronic malnutrition has also decreased from 29% to about 22 percent. The survey points out where improvements have been made, but it also highlights persistent bottlenecks like improvement in quality of education, access to basic sanitation, and reducing HIV infection. We were able, uh, with the support of the international community, to bring the service at the level pre-earthquake, but as well to bring new results uh, for the children of Haiti. And uh, all the issue in the coming two years will be how to sustain these results. Challenges still remain in Haiti, but for Vanessa, she's happy to have found the resources that helped Samuel push through his period of malnutrition. I always say that if the health center wasn't there, he would have died. This is Michelle Marion for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org.